Yo, what's going on guys, Bobbin here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how you guys can get more FPS in Fortnite. The first thing you want to do, you just want to close your game. Okay, so once once you're in your home screen, you just want to go here to this little Windows thing, right click on it, click run, and then, what, and then you'll get this thing here, and then when you're new, you want to, you want to type in temp, just like this, and then you want to click OK, and then you want to click, click continue. Then once it loads, you're going to see all of these files here. And then you just want to do control A and what it's going to do is it's going to delete all of these files to clean up your space. Do it. Click continue. And you just want to click X and then these files, don't bother getting rid of them, just leave them. Okay, so the next step you want to do, you just want to go to your Windows again. Go to File Explorer. You want to go all the way to uh, this PC. Go in here. Right, right click on this properties. Then once you're in here, disk clean up you want to click this button here it's going to take a second to load up okay so once this thing pops up you just want to click ok and then delete files and then after this this file goes to green all your files will be all the unnecessary files will be cleaned up okay so the next thing you want to do you just go right click on here go to nvidia control panel so once you're on here you just want to go to adjust image settings make sure this is on performance then after you do that you're gonna go to manage 3D settings. I copy all my settings here. Make sure you can like right click on them and edit them. Make sure all of these settings are like right, and then you'll get the best FPS. And then you want to click apply. And then once this, and then once you click apply, these settings will, these settings will happen. So once you click apply, you just want to click X, and then you want to go to here. Then once you okay, so once you're on your GeForce experience, you just want to go download your drivers and then that'll be it for now. But because I'm recording, it will take ages for me to download my drive. So this video did help you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see. You